Hi. Uh, it's been a minute. <laughs> I don't think I've filmed anything for like six months. Yeah, hi again. I'm just gonna do a little update video. <laughs> um, a lot has happened, obviously. It's been a while. I bought a plant stand. I built this myself. I was very proud of myself. Um, because I looked at the instructions, I'm like, I can't figure that out. But then I tried, and I did it. I still have to make it look cute, but anyway. Uh, Siobhan and I are planning on doing a reaction video to the Avatar uh, show that came out a little while ago. A few months ago. Don't actually know when it came out. We were <laughs> planning on recording our reaction to it a while ago, but then she got busy, and then she left town for a bit, and then she was sick, and then just... Yeah, at some point we will do that, I think. Right now she is back home visiting our family. I will be going back in a few weeks. It's almost my birthday. I'm almost 25, woohoo. <laughs> uh, my birthday is May 13th. Today is the 10th, I believe. That's exciting. I planned a little, like a little horse carriage ride with my boyfriend. Um, and I think we're gonna do like a little picnic or something, so. Um, yeah, I'm excited and I'm seeing my friend Sophie the day before that. Um, not really sure what we're doing. Uh, and then tomorrow, I tried to plan some fun things like leading up to my birthday. Tomorrow we're going to go to a petting zoo and there's also a plant sale. I'm excited for that. <laughs> yeah, I've been getting really into plants. I've been watching a lot of plant videos. <laughs> uh, I've grown some tomato plants and cantaloupe plants. They're on my balcony right now from seed. So that was fun watching those grow. I'm propagating quite a few things. <laughs> I don't know if you can really see that, but um, yeah, I bought myself a couple birthday plants <laughs> and if there's anything tomorrow that I like I'm planning on getting something else um yeah I do I show you my plants I could show you after I've also been crocheting I'm nearing the end of my granny square blanket I'm just weaving in the ends this is the most annoying part <laughs> but yeah it's like these two colors and then like a succulent color bluey green uh, that I made the squares <clears throat> and then I found a really pretty there's like three different colors that I thought would look really good for like if I made a daisy quilt I kind of want to make a baby blanket <laughs> um, just because the fully full-size blanket was a lot of yarn and I don't really feel like making the same size blanket for the daisy blanket but I found like a really pretty um, pinkish color. It's like dark cherry, wisteria, and pumice stone. But yeah, those colors would be nice together to make a blanket. I have applied to a few jobs. I have not heard. I heard back from one, but it was really far away from my house, so I just didn't follow up because I don't plan on going back to my Canada Post job. My hair is growing. <laughs> um, it's, I think it's 11 months today since I shaved my head. I am recovering. Well, I'm almost near the end. Um, I only have a few more kinesiology appointments. Uh, so that's good. Being able to like go on long walks and like exercise again is like such a relief. Um, so I'm very grateful for that support. Uh, ICBC is a shitty insurance company. I'm pretty sure all insurance companies are probably shitty. I'm really glad to almost be done dealing with them. <laughs> what else? Books. Ooh, and I painted my nails. They're like iridescent. Yeah, anyway. Um, <laughs> what books have I read? Oh, I'm reading... I'm rereading this one because I needed a reminder. It's very good. Uh, set boundaries, find peace. I also just read The Prisoner's Throne, which is the duology, second book in the duology for the... I don't know what that one's called, but the first book was The Stolen Air uh, by Holly Black. Those are also good. I also read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. That was a very interesting book. I like that. 
uh, I have a book list now, so that's nice actually having like more books that you want to read than no books. <laughs> what else? Oh, I made some candles. I'm gonna try selling those on Facebook Marketplace. Tonight I'm watching Tangled with my boyfriend. <laughs> he hasn't seen it um, and it's one of my favorite movies and I'm very excited to show him it. I hope he likes it because if he doesn't <laughs> uh, I really want us to go as Flynn Rider and Rapunzel for Halloween because I mean my hair is not gonna be as short literally a drop of sweat just rolled down my arm. <laughs> that scared me. I thought there was Okay, what was I saying? Uh, his hair looks like Flynn Rider's hair, and my hair currently looks, it could be similar to Rapunzel's hair. If I styled it, maybe different, I don't know. But by October, I don't think my hair will be quite short enough. I might pin it up a little bit. Yeah, I love Halloween. <laughs> That's why I'm already like, looking at costumes. Yes. My boyfriend did point out to me that Flynn Rider has a soul patch, or a goatee, I mean, which I never really processed before. I always in my head just thought he had like stubble, which... Soul patches and goatees are not my favorite, so it was just like surprising to like have that realization. <laughs> oh, my kinesiologist told me about uh, the show Fallout, which I know um, was based on like a video game. I've never played that, but uh, he told me that one of the characters reminded him of me so I was curious and went and watched the show because I'm like <laughs> which one apparently it was the main girl which I'm not really sure I was kind of flattered though because she's pretty but um, <laughs> he said our mannerisms were similar and mm, except that she was more chipper which <clears throat> I would agree with that <laughs> What else? Oh, I signed up for a cake decor- or I'm in the process of signing up for a cake decorating program. Uh, it's like two weeks long in August, so I'm really looking forward to that. I could show you my plants. Yesterday I was sitting on the balcony and this hummingbird went really really close to me. It was very cool. Um, it went to like the lavender plant that was near me. Uh, and then it came back. It came twice. It was it was very cool. <laughs> okay, I think I want to show you my plants. If you don't care, then yeah, that's probably just the rest of the video. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go. Okay, so in this corner, I saved this one. <laughs> uh, it was down in like the basement of my apartment building by the recycling. Um, someone just left it and it had red, it's red poinsettia. I'm gonna try selling it though, I think. Um, it's looking really good, but and these are some cuttings I took. I took this one off of this plant. I got it for my birthday from my mom a really long time ago. Um, but these pieces were like trailing over the edge. So I want to try, I don't know if they're gonna root. I'm gonna try putting them over here in that gap. Oh, I'm out of breath, okay. <laughs> um, this one I made from cuttings. Um, I gave it to Schwann for her birthday. It's got a new leaf coming. Um, also, fungus gnats are freaking annoying. <laughs> I think I'm gonna buy mosquito dunks or something to like get rid of them. I tried a different, um, it's a orchid <laughs> with no flowers. I tried a different thing to get rid of the fungus gnats. Uh, I think it helped, but it's not completely gone. This is a snake plant. Um, I, <laughs> my dad brought it to me and it had like giant leaves, but it like looked so unbalanced I like trimmed them back so now the new ones will come back and it'll be all the same size <laughs> um, and then he said I can also propagate the cuttings to grow roots so uh, this broke off of a plant that I got recently when I watered it um, it's very it's so cool it's like silver <laughs> Um, and it's got like purple underneath. I'll show you the full-size plant later, but I put them in Siobhan's room while she's away to isolate them from my other plants, but yeah, in case of pests, but these are avocado plants. And then this is a cutting I took from one of Siobhan's plants that I really like. Um, it's got an interesting leaf. It is like 
silver-ish too. Uh, what else? This is from the plant in my bedroom I'll show you. I want to try growing it. Um, it's the same plant as this plant. <laughs> um, I want to try growing one going up instead of trailing down. That's also an old one that my parents gave me. My tomato plants and cantaloupe seeds. I don't feel like opening the door. Uh, my lavender is out there too. Can you see it? Okay. <laughs> Some more plants. That's a poinsettia I had from like 2019 or 2020. Schwann's orchid, Schwann's other plants because she's away. I didn't want to keep them in her room. These were the candles that I made. This one's really cool. I like the, the red. The red is pretty. <laughs> This is my sad orchid. <laughs> um, when we bought them, the tops like had flowers. I think they're almost done blooming. Um, but then this one, like it was longer, but then it started browning. I was like, what the heck? But now it looks like it stopped browning. I cut off the browning. <laughs> um, I think it was just like in too much sun or something. So hopefully that's all fixed now. This is the pothos that I've taken cuttings from. <laughs> um, I've had it for quite a while too. Nice bushy plant. I've given other people little presents of this plant. I've made like cuttings and... What the heck? Oops. <laughs> uh, this is the culprit of the fungus gnats. I got it from Canadian Tire. <laughs> Um, in like September. Um, it's called like a ZZ plant. I don't remember the actual name, but <clears throat> this is like a new shoot that came out. Uh, the fungus gnats are slowly getting under control. Okay. Yeah, Canadian tire. <laughs> now for the newest ones. We're in Siobhan's room. This is the inch plant. <clears throat> Beautiful. Can you see? Hi, okay, that works. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just gonna give it a little bit of time to make sure there are no bugs. And then I can bring it out with the other ones. There's a spot in the living room that it'll hang really nicely in. And then this one I got at a plant sale for three dollars. Woohoo! <laughs> I love jade plants. I I used to have one. I did not realize I was overwatering it and I killed it. So this one's not gonna get overwatered. <laughs> uh, and then this one I got most recently. Uh, from Canadian Tire. <laughs> it's so cool. I love this one. It's a, uh, what's this? Alokisha Amazonica? Yay! <laughs> I think it's also called like elephant ears or something. So anyway, yeah, I'm just gonna let those chill out in here for a bit. Okay, I think that's everything. Oh, what else did I talk about? This is the horrible lighting. Oh, Siobhan did that. That's our living room. How cute. Um, so I'm thinking, yeah, daisy blanket with these three colors. Where's the pink one? That'd be a cute little, little mini blanket, I think. I'm not gonna have to buy yarn for a very, very, very long time. Uh, yeah, I got a little bit excited. Uh, these are, okay, last thing. My, <laughs> these are my granny squares for the blanket I'm doing for my room. This is the other color, the like succulent color. Um, there's like 70. So I really hope I didn't frick anything up because that would be, I'm mostly worried about things unraveling, but I'm, I'm doing my best to weave in the ends and not 
cause any future problems. Oh, I also made this candle. Um, I'm gonna give it to my mom for Mother's Day. It's like lavender. And it has a little lid back there. Okay. Oh, my boyfriend surprised me with this. Okay, this is the last thing. Look at how cute. It's a little corn. Uh, it flips inside out to like a popcorn, but I like this side better, so I keep it on this side. I'm out of breath, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Um, I think I'm gonna start making videos again. So, I'll see you soon. Bye.